Most educators agree that technology skills are vital to American students if they're to compete in the global economy. Toward that end, San Diego County schools are incorporating iPads, interactive whiteboards, and netbooks into their lesson plans. I'm joined by San Diego Unified School District's incoming superintendent, Cindy Martin, and Bruce Brzezewski, executive director of the nonprofit Classroom of the Future Foundation. So, Superintendent Martin, let's start with you. You're about to receive the Impact Award from Bruce's nonprofit for incorporating technology. How exactly is technology being used in the classroom at San Diego Unified? We have a program, we call it the I-21 program, that's pretty incredible, that has made sure that we put technology in every single classroom across the district. San Diego Unified is the second largest district in the state, so we're talking about over 4,000 classrooms, making sure in a five-year initiative that students have access to the interactive whiteboards, the Promethean boards are the ones that we're using, and the netbooks and the iPads. But what's unique about this and why I think we're being recognized through the Impact Award is the impact that we're making is across the entire system a district as large as ours, making sure that we're not just putting technology into, teach, into students' hands, we have training, ongoing training for our teachers to make sure that they know how to use this technology to transform learning in the classroom. It's not a technology program, it's a learning and access and equity program that's making a tremendous difference closing the digital divide in our large urban district. Bruce, what specific technology skills do students need to compete in the global marketplace? Well, it's um, pretty apparent when you just watch teenagers, for example, using all the devices that they have. But most of the skills that uh, will help students compete are related to technology, whether they're um, cell phone type devices, computer devices, software programs, uh, gamification, which is one of the programs that we're recognizing as well at our Innovation Awards program. So the skill set really does relate to digital literacy, communication skills, um, the kinds of skills that students are going to need in the workplace to compete, as you alluded to, in a, in a global marketplace. So students need these technology skills, but how has technology transformed how teachers teach? That's what happens with our program with professional development. We're teaching teachers how to develop lessons using the smart board technology and how to be interactive with your lessons. So you're getting feedback right away when you teach a lesson. You can actually put it out to the students and see right away who learned it, who didn't, because you're getting answers from students in the context of that lesson. You're not waiting to grade the paper till the next day or take the test and see what happens later. You're actually getting feedback on an ongoing basis. That's one transformation. The other transformation is the way students use the technology to demonstrate their knowledge. They're creating, it's not just PowerPoints, they're making videos and audio presentations and getting up on the interactive whiteboard and drawing what they're thinking and using things like thinking maps in an interactive way and the, the classroom lessons are flipped. Students are taking computers home, watching the lesson be delivered at home by the teacher in a video presentation, come to the classroom and work collaboratively. Is technology also though closing the gap between students from low-income families and middle-class kids? Absolutely. I, I've just left the principalship at Central Elementary, which is a school with 100% poverty and 85% English learners. What happens in a classroom with 85% English learners when you have technologies, you have students who are learning English, are able to actively engage in their lessons because of the use of technology. Everybody has something that they need to show what they know using this technology. Bruce, tomorrow your Classroom for the Future Foundation will hand out awards to schools across the county for using technology in the classroom. What are other schools outside of San Diego Unified doing? Yes, there are several. One is a, a program called the Pride Academy in Santee, which is uh, focused on project-based learning, where students work collaboratively using technology to do research, to create multimedia presentations and things of that sort, mostly focused on projects. Very different learning experience, very different teaching experience than a traditional classroom. We're also recognizing a program around professional development, where the teachers used video conferencing to interact with experts in a particular field around common core standards. And that district is being recognized for the fact that they did this on a regular basis throughout the entire year with every single teacher, that they could stay in their local school and have this professional development experience via video conference. Very quickly, are there some schools that are still in the dark ages when it comes to computers? Uh, well, you know, there are fewer and fewer all the time. It seems that uh, the students are keeping everyone kind of abreast of the technology, so it's growing pretty rapidly, actually.
Okay. The trend is in that direction. We've got to close it there. Bruce, Cindy, thanks for coming on the program. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.